and pi, the two most important constants in modern mathematics, are encoded in the Bible. More than a millennium ahead of mathematical discoveries of the world, the true author of the Bible had put these two variables there. We will see in this video how the number pi is encoded as 3.1415 in Genesis 1.1, the very first verse of the Bible and of the Old Testament, and how the number e is encoded as 2.7183 in John 1.1, the first verse of the Gospel of John in the New Testament. We will see also how the probability for both events to happen by accident at the same time is less than 1 in billions, and so we will understand why it cannot be a coincidence. The question will then arise is, if the author of the Bible knew these numbers more than 1000 years before then the world discovered them, and he encoded them in such a way that only in our time we could find these numbers in those verses and see that he knew them from the beginning, who is the true author of the Bible? This series of videos has a total length of one hour and is divided in seven episodes. I recommend you to watch those seven episodes, but if you prefer to go to a particular them, this is their plan. In the first episode, corresponding to the current video, we'll talk about the importance of the constants e and pi in modern mathematics, where they appear in the Bible, how they are encoded, and what is the biblical explanation for them to be encoded with the intention that only they were found when we were approaching the end of times. In the second episode, we'll talk about the ancient art of gematria that was used to encode E and Pi in the Bible. In the third episode, we'll discuss why it is astonishing that E and Pi appear in the Bible, why it doesn't fit with everything modern people currently believe about the history of mankind, and so why it implies that they will have to reconsider the way they see the world. In the fourth episode, we'll see how Pi is in Genesis 1.1. In the fifth episode, we'll see how E is in John 1.1. 1, 1. In the sixth episode, we'll discuss if this could be a coincidence or if there is another explanation. We'll answer to all the objections that modern people, clinging to their vision of the world, will do to deny that E and Pi are in the Bible. In the seventh episode, we'll discuss what the Bible says about the great deception that humanity should be facing in the end of times. Just over 250 years ago, the Swiss mathematician Leonhard Euler discovered and published one of the most influential formulas in the history of mathematics. Surprisingly, for his time, the Euler's formula related the exponential function to the trigonometrical function sine, or what is the same, the most important functions from two areas of mathematics considered until then as not so related, on one side arithmetics and infinitesimal calculus and on the other side trigonometry and geometry. He also made this observation. If in his formula you consider the case when the angle theta has a value of pi, then you obtain a new equation, known until today as Euler's identity, and considered universally among modern mathematicians as one of the most beautiful mathematical formulas because it relates five of the most important numbers of mathematics. 0, 1, i, e, and pi. Without going into technical details, let's just observe that the charm of this formula lies in the way that, through the complex number i, are related the two most important irrational constants in mathematics, e and pi. But even more surprising is the fact that 1500 years before the birth of Euler, these two constants were already encoded in the Bible. These two constants that are the axis of his famous identity and that are the two most important irrational numbers in modern mathematics, presence in many fundamental formulas of various sciences, which is present in almost all the mathematical descriptions that modern science does about the universe, were put in the Bible, and they were not put to be seen by people from past centuries. How they could have seen them in times where they had no idea about the existence of number E? They were put there by the true author of the Bible, Yahweh, as a sign for us in the end times of the history of the world. A sign that shows us that the Bible is not the cultural creation of a certain people, but that this people was really elected by God to receive a message that eventually would be transmitted to the rest of the mankind. Why to encode them to only be visible in the end of times? It's a recurring topic in biblical prophecy. 
especially in the book of Daniel and in the New Testament, that the understanding of God's plan and his message would be partially sealed until the end of times. Only when the end of the world should be near, many signals until then hidden should be revealed, and many prophecies and difficult biblical passages of controversial or dubious interpretation should be finally understood. As we approach through the end times, the signs are multiplying, and what before was invisible now can be viewed, and the Bible was written in such a way that once a sign is visible, it is unequivocal that this sign comes from God and is not a coincidence. Where are E and Pi in the Bible? As we see, the number of Pi is encoded in Genesis 1-1, the first verse of the Bible and of the Old Testament. The number E is encoded in John 1-1, the first verse of the Gospel of St. John, and as we will see, a very special verse in many senses that could be considered as the initial verse of the New Testament. These two numbers are encoded through the ancient art of gematria, by which the letters of ancient alphabets had assigned a numerical value, and so every letter, word or phrase written in Hebrew or in Greek, the languages used to write, respectively the Old and the New Testament, have a numerical value associated to them. We will see later how to compute the gematria values for letters, words and biblical verses, and how in this way we can find the value of pi in the verse Genesis 1-1 and the value of e in the verse John 1-1. How to know that this is not just a coincidence? To give an answer to this question, let's distinguish between believers and unbelievers. If you believe in God, remember that He is in control of everything. Nothing happens by coincidence in the universe, and in particular, nothing happens by coincidence in the Bible. So you can be sure that it was Yahweh who got these two concepts in these two verses. If you don't believe in God, then consider the probabilities. As we'll see, the combined event of pi and e appearing by coincidence in these two verses has a probability of less than 1 in 1 billion. It is much easier to win the lottery, but of course, if you choose not to believe, you can always bet for the very remote chance that all this is an accident. When you bet, remember that what is at stake is not a drink, a lottery ticket, or even your current life, but something much more important and irreversible in its consequences where you will spend eternity.